Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Hey guys. Um, so, I just got back from my first day of teaching. Um, and uh, I wanted to tell you guys about the prank, and like, I wanted this video to be a lot more upbeat than it's about to be. But... I am in a moment of very deep anxiety right now. Uh, I don't know why I decided to film this. I don't know if it's helpful to anyone. I don't know if it's going to be helpful to me just even to look over the footage if I decide to not post this. Um, I talked to my mom on the phone and I talked to my husband via message, but I felt like I needed to like verbalize certain things to say just like out. I appreciate everyone in my life who listens to me, of course. Sometimes it's just like I need to say it to the camera and kind of to myself. Um, so let's start with the good stuff. So if you don't want a bummer, you can just leave after that. But um, the prank went really well. I think I sat in like the second row or third row or something. There are a lot of rows in our classroom. And... Um, I took off this blazer that I'm wearing right now, so I was only wearing like a tank top under, so like I, I just was wearing a tank top so I wouldn't be spotted as teacher or whatever. And um, around when most of the people were in class, uh, I just got up and I was like, I think there are enough of you here so we can start and walk to the teacher's desk. And I heard someone say like, oh shit. And everyone for a second looked really confused, which was honestly so funny. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't know if they thought that I was, that's just like my way of starting or if they really thought I was pranking them. I don't know how they like perceived it, but um, yeah. Uh, in terms of how the actual class went, I was telling other TAs this because I went to talk to other TAs after my class. It's really hard for me to assess because honestly, today wasn't teaching. The first day is never teaching. It's like, I give out a syllabus, I give out a course outline, I tell you when, like what your final is, I tell you when you have shit due, I tell you how many absences you can have, you know, like it's all very administrative kind of stuff, like very logistical more than, um, actually imparting knowledge, right? So Wednesday is probably gonna be better and I'm probably gonna feel better. But right now I just feel like shit and I feel like crying and just like, I don't know. And I'm kind of scared too because like, I'm kind of scared too because it's like, I didn't like today, but like I said, today wasn't proper teaching. I'm scared that I won't like it. <laughs> and that's terrifying to me because if I don't like it, the life plan I have set up for myself is irrelevant. Like, uh, I guess it doesn't matter if I cry, I was gonna go to the gym anyways. <laughs> but it's, I didn't enjoy today. Um, but I'm assuming that it's because like nobody really enjoys talking about a syllabus, but I'm just like scared that you know, like I'm not going to enjoy it full stop. Um, and I don't think I did a bad job or anything. Um, I can't really tell how I did because like I said, but um, essentially after um, I went to my office because office hours and I was just like planning um, what I want to do for their next lesson where it, they're actually learning stuff. And um, I went to ask two other TAs um, about essays because like I'm familiar with how graduate essays are, you know, like I know the page length of a graduate essay, but I didn't know for like first years, I wasn't sure. So I went to ask them. And I think that was my mistake because like one of these two people and they're both lovely people. Okay. Like nothing against them. One of them instills extreme anxiety in me just because I feel like she operates in a very different way than I operate. And I really don't want to be like, oh my God, I'm so different than everyone else, whatever. But genuinely, I don't know if it's because I'm not American um, and I'm like, I was, I went to American schools, but I wasn't raised in an American household. So like our way of operating is different. In case you didn't know, I'm Italian. It's my first language. People are always shook at some point. Someone is like, wait, what? Um, the way I've operated about around anything academic has always been very different than everyone else. And 
as much as I accept it, every time I restart like the new year, the new job, like the new semester, whatever, I get this moment of deep anxiety because I realize that I operate completely different than every, than all these other people that I'm like, that are around me anyways. And it gives me anxiety because I feel like I'm unprepared. I feel like they've done more than me. I feel like my imposter syndrome comes back, you know, like the feeling that like I slipped through the cracks. I'm actually not uh, qualified to do this. And it, it just, I don't know, like, I made a mistake by going to ask her specifically because she then went off on like different tangents and like mentioned all these other responsibilities that I have this year because I, I plan on graduating in uh, at the end of next semester. So there's just a bunch of stuff I have to do. I'm not gonna bore you with the details, but, she's, but she was kind of highlighting the fact that I, I'm gonna have a lot of work and she doesn't even know I do YouTube. So she only thinks I have like the one job. And I love YouTube, I'm not like putting that down, but I'm just saying it's one of my responsibilities. And to be completely frank, I make more off of YouTube than my job. So like YouTube is a job for me at this point. And I just like was shaking like after I left the office and I know that I should be better at this by now. Like I should be more, uh, I don't know, more confident in like my way of doing things because my way of doing things obviously works. Like I, I was successful. I only got A's last year. I, you know, like everything was fine and like I had a job and I had YouTube and I held everything down, but just a wave of anxiety just like fucking hit me. <sighs> And I just went into extreme panic. Like, as you can see, like, I'm still in extreme panic. And I know it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I know. I know. I'm just having a hard time rationalizing my thoughts. So I feel like everything is falling apart. Ah, uh, geez. Maybe I should be sitting in the... <laughs> the kitchen floor for this one. <laughs> I'm just so overwhelmed right now. I just like feel like my body is tense and I'm kind of sad because like I was telling Jacob I wanted to get a bottle of Prosecco to like celebrate like my first day of teaching and like this morning in the car like uh, it's so stupid, but I was just like, like this day today will change your life forever, which sounds like really dramatic, but it's true because this is like my first step in like my career, you know, like before I was a tutor, whatever, but this is like a career like type job. And, and I just like feel like shit and I, and, and I really wanted to come home feeling good and feeling like I'm on the right path and I just don't feel like that right now. And I know that I'm overreacting and I know that I'm being over emotional. <laughs> Let's pray that it's my period or something. <laughs> but I just, oh God, I'm just so overwhelmed and I feel like everything is just about to fall apart or like I'm gonna disappoint myself and like the people around me just because like it's always it's always assumed that I'm gonna do well you know and I appreciate people's faith in me I really do like it means so much to me that everyone thinks I can handle these things but sometimes it scares me because I'm just like I don't know if I'm like the person you think I am you know like I don't know if I am that person <sighs> god I know that Wednesday is probably going to be better and I'm going to come out feeling invigorated. And if that's the case, I can give you guys an update if you want it. Oh god, what a shit show of a fucking video. But as of right now, I'm just, I just needed to get that out. Um, since I'm here, um, post meltdown, well, only post meltdown by like 10 seconds, but I wanted to touch upon one quick thing too. Um, oftentimes I see 
uh, on Instagram, I get comments of, uh, you know, like, I wish I were as confident as you. I wish I were as confident to wear something like that. And, uh, you know, like, I think this video kind of answers your questions. <laughs> I don't know if I'm confident or not. Um, I try to be most of the time, but like I said, and I say it on my Instagram too, it's all fake it, like fake it until you make it for me. So it's all fake it until you make it for me right now. Like I don't feel, I usually feel academic confidence, which is why this is like so shocking to me and also not shocking because it happens like every time, every time I start a new semester, I guess, or have new responsibilities, but I'm far more confident in my academic skill than, you know, like in, you know, personhood or my body, like that's the thing I'm the least confident in. So, you know, like when you guys say stuff like that on, on Instagram, just know that like I'm wearing, a lot of the times I wear things that I'm not confident in wearing, but that I want to wear. And I force myself because I'm going to be like, I'm not going to let my lack of confidence stop me from wearing it. So I guess that's a side note. I don't know how to end this video on a positive note other than to say that I'm sure Wednesday will be fine. And I'm sure I'm overreacting and I'm sure it was just a moment of panic. But um, yeah, I guess I just wanted to update you on how I was feeling if anyone cares. Uh, I don't know how to justify this video. It just feels like me being a crybaby. Um, but yeah, I figured maybe it's important for you guys to see these moments. Maybe it's important for me to see these moments. I don't know. Um, anyway, if you made it this far, I, uh, thank you. You deserve an award, honestly, because I would not have made it this far probably in this video. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you to my patrons who put up with me. And um, I'll catch you guys next time.